my presentation today will focus on black, on carbon black, the largest nanomaterial by volume and value that's produced industrially today. Carbon black is already being used in a wide range of applications, including tires and paints. And for this reason, these carbon black nanoparticles make up an industry that is worth $16 billion. Carbon black is, in fact, included already in supercapacitors and lithium-ion batteries in order to address the emerging uh, demands, the emerging energy demands of our society. So today, I'm going to show you how we can design carbon black nanoparticles with superior performance in such energy applications. So, just like soot, carbon black can be produced by incomplete combustion of hydrocarbons or pyrolysis of such molecules. And these nanoparticles collide to form these fractal-like clusters that you can see over here. Each one of these nanoparticles contains crystallites of polyaromatic hydrocarbon molecules that are arranged rather randomly inside the nanoparticle creating these small pores that you can see over there. So the carbon black porosity can be quantified by the radii of these pores or by its specific surface area, which is essentially the total area of carbon black divided over here sorry, uh, by its mass. And in general, in order to improve the performance of carbon black in the energy applications that I mentioned earlier, we need nanoparticles with large pores and specific surface areas. However, most of the commercially available carbon black nanoparticles that have not been treated chemically, they are rather non porous as you can see uh, in this microscopy image over here. For example, this commercial carbon black gray that we analyzed had a specific surface area of just 240 square meters per gram. But we know from previous studies on, uh, on uh, pseudo nanoparticles produced by diesel engines that oxidation can increase the porosity of carbon nanoparticles nanomaterials. So here, we firstly oxidized this commercial carbon black nanoparticles at 800 degrees. At this high temperature, oxygen reacts very fast at the surface of the carbon black nanoparticle, reducing its diameter but without affecting its porosity. On the other hand, at 550 degrees, oxygen can diffuse and react with the part carbon black nanoparticle. This results in the formation of large pores, as you can see in this image over here, and increases its specific surface area by a factor of four. Now, this indicates that internal oxidation enhances the carbon black porosity, and it is essential to improve its performance in lithium ion batteries and supercapacitors. Now, to further assist the design of uh, to the optimization of carbon black for such energy applications, we also measured in detail the pore size distributions at different levels of uh, conversion after oxidation at 550 degrees. But for the interest of time, I will uh, stop here. You can pass by my poster if you're interested or find more information in our carbon publication. Thank you.